Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And yeah, just what's up? How are you doing? Comment down below if you want to. Um, this video is something new, and I am redoing, like, I'm not redoing my channel, but I'm reamping my channel, if that makes sense. Um, my YouTube channel, I love it so much, and I have just been so inspired lately. And I just kind of want to tell you guys some things that are coming in the future. And yeah. So, the first thing is kind of about this video, and I want to do more videos talking about my life, um, like just what's happening in my life, my experiences, and just hopefully like with my experiences, I can help you guys. And that's like really why I made my YouTube channel is to help people and help like girls my age just feel more confident and everything. And I think that these type of videos are going to be perfect for it. So every single month I'm going to try or try to do at least one or two videos called Let's Talk. And it's what I'm doing today. And Let's Talk videos are going to be just me talking to you guys about what is on my heart. And like what I just feel like you guys should know what I'm struggling with right now. What like I think you guys could like learn from. I don't know. Just things like that. So that's my first thing. And my second thing is something that I have been thinking about doing for a while now I thought about this this summer I did do it this summer and I'm going to be trying to post two videos every single week I posted like two or three videos every single week this summer and I want to this like during the school year I want to post two videos um I don't know I'm like really busy with like acting and all that so I'm going to be posting two videos every single week but there may be weeks where I only post one and I'm not like promising anything. I will be posting one video every single week, but there will be two at like every, like, I don't even know. So like two weeks, like, so one week I'll have two videos. Next week I'll have one, two, one. I think that's how I'm going to be doing it. So there are going to be more videos for you guys and I'm super excited about it. So yeah, I just wanted to say that, that I will be posting um, two videos a week for most weeks. So yeah and I just wanted to get on with this video and the let's talk videos are going to not really have a script and by not having a script I mean I'm just going to have like like whatever will fit on a post-it note like whatever will fit on a post-it note is all I'm going to be talking about in a video so like this is all that would fit on here and then I have to like I'm making everything else up so I don't really have a script I'm just like saying what's like on my heart in the video so yeah I'm sorry I'm rambling but yeah this video is probably gonna be really long so yeah, let's get on with the video. So first thing I want to say is I really like this background. I'm burning a candle over there. I just feel like it's so warm and cozy and I really like it. So yeah, and I'm also in my Let's Talk videos, I'm going to try not to be like editing it that much, like not cropping it and all that. I just want to like, just like keep it really raw and genuine. So yeah. Okay. So let's get started. So I don't want to say that. You already know we're getting started. Okay. So the first thing I have on my sticky note is something that I feel like I have been struggling with lately so much and I feel like every girl struggles with this and well maybe you guys too but it's stop comparing yourself to others like just stop like just stop comparing yourself to others I watch other people's YouTube videos and I'm like wow I really wish I could be like them or I go to school and I'm like oh I would love to be that person I'd love to have those clothes I'd love to do this you know and that's just not right like like, that is just not okay for me. Like, I, like, God made me how I am. He made me like this. He made me like, this is like his perfect image. And I, I just dropped it. And it just really stinks for me to be like looking at other people and wishing I was them. And I have just been struggling with this lately. And I just like have learned like, just stop. Like, just stop doing it. And when I think about it, I'm just like, stop. Like, stop doing that. And I like, just stop. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that has really helped me lately. Like, so just stop comparing yourself to others, and I don't know. I just think that's helped me a lot, so, yeah. And my next thing is, like, something that I have really been struggling with lately a lot, and just don't listen to other people. Um, a lot, like, even if they're your friends, even if they're people that you consider, like, your BFFs, um, they could be saying some really mean things to you and like they don't mean for it to like be mean like they should be like like what is what are you wearing but like they're joking you know but like they're not actually joking they're not actually kidding they're actually like saying that and it actually hurts your feelings actually 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 like it really does hurt your feelings when someone's like your your outfit's so ugly <laughs> just kidding like that hurts and so if you're doing that to people stop doing it stop it really does hurt and like it's like it's not bullying I hate the word bullying like 
oh my gosh, you're bullying me. Like, stop. Like, just stop saying bullying. Stop, stop. Okay, sorry. But bullying is such, like, a term that people use these days. Like, at school, people are like, well, if you shut your locker, like, if that's bullying. If you do this, like, that's bullying. If you, ignore, if you like, ignore someone, that's bullying. That's not bullying. Bullying is, like, saying something or hurt. I don't even know what bullying is, but, like, like, saying that is not bullying someone, but it does hurt. <clears throat> and so, if you're doing that to someone, or if you're, like, making fun of them, but, like, you're actually not making, like, if, even if they're your friend and you're saying something that you think would hurt them, stop. And if you're one of the people that, like, is hearing all those things, like, just put them out of your life. Like, not, like, be like, bye. We're not friends anymore. Leave. We're not friends. Like, don't do that, but... Just try to make new friends, try to hang out with different people, and that's what I've been doing recently. Um, I've just been trying to hang out with people that, like, whenever I leave hanging out with people, I should feel like a better person. I should feel, like, more happy and just, like, better about myself and my, like, my, like, me. But if I'm hanging out with someone and then I leave and I just feel negative about myself, like, that's not what you should ever leave people hang like when you hang out with someone you should never leave thinking like that and I just feel like a lot of people hang out with people that they know are being that they know are being mean to them they know it's like actually hurting their feelings but they still stay friends with them and that's something I've been struggling with so yeah I don't I don't know but I just like I don't understand why people are so mean about stuff like in person like I could I can never say like something really mean to someone in person like I just I don't know and lately I've also been struggling with not like having negative thoughts in my head like not being like oh my gosh this is so annoying that person is so annoying like like just be real and I don't even know what I'm saying but you guys hopefully understand but yeah so my next thing is keep doing you boo like just keep doing you keep working on you and don't let anyone else get in your way like if someone is set like for example for me personally like people are like your youtube is so stupid like or they like bring it up in school and they're like ha oh, let's go watch miss anna grace woo like like just keep doing you like i am still doing my videos even though people are mean about them and pe people like make fun of them but like i love you making youtube videos i love it i feel so much better about everything with my youtube and even though people make fun of me like I just love it so much that I could, I don't, like, I will never stop, like, right at this moment, like, maybe when I get older, but right now, I'm not going to stop just because one person doesn't like it, and if that's something in your life that you love, like, that you're so passionate about, don't stop doing it just because other people judge you for it, like, acting, I know a lot of people get, like, made fun of because, like, oh, they're, like, a geek and band or, like, acting, like, something like that, like, don't quit just because other people, like, you're over here doing something like amazing like you were so passionate about it and it makes you so happy and the other people that are over here and they're like why are you doing that like you're like so not cool like what is this person doing like what are you doing that is cool and this person over here is like I am a star on stage and I am awesome and this person over here is like well I don't do anything I probably do drugs and like what are you doing like why would you listen to someone and I'm just so passionate about that because my own life I have like really like witnessed that and I just don't understand why like you're not doing anything good in your life so why would you make fun of other people I I will never understand so my next thing is hang out with people I kind of already touched on this but like hang out with people that make you happy um, don't ever, like, I mean ever hang out with someone when you leave, like, their house or you leave hanging out with them or you leave school and you feel negative about yourself. Like, you came to school like this and you went like this because you're hanging out with them. Like, <sighs> hang out with people that make you happy. Hang out with people that boost your confidence. Hang out with people that motivate you. And this is so, so hard in our society to do this because people, like, they only hang out with the popular people. And the popular people, maybe they're bad, maybe they're good, I don't know. But, like, hang out with people that make you feel good. If you're hanging, like, hang out with people that make you feel good. <laughs> yeah. The next thing, I don't have it on my sheet, but I want to talk about it, is be nice to everyone because you do not know what they're going through. You do not know how their life is at home you don't know what they're struggling with when people are mean to me I always try to be nice to them I mean sometimes I'm not because I I'm a sinner I do things like that and like when people are being mean to you it's probably because they have something they're struggling with at home if or they're like really unconfident about their selves and so that's why they're doing that 
is to I don't it doesn't boost their confidence I don't know what it does for them but if you, someone is being mean to you just remember like they're struggling with something inside and like internally they're like they're like their heart is like it's hurt they something is wrong with them and so when you're being mean to other people like I don't I just still don't understand why would someone do that like how does that boost your confidence and if you're one of the people that are going through this as well, just remember that everyone has their bad days. Everyone has their bad days. And so if someone's being mean to you, just be positive. Be nice to them. Like, just really, like, love on them and kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. That's just stuff that I'm kind of struggling with right now. And this is something else that I... I don't know. It's just something I'm struggling with right now. I'm going to open up to you guys. So, like, don't be perfect at everything you do. Um, I, like, I have so many passions about, like, everything. Like, everything. And I want to do so many things, like, with my life. Like, like I'm just, I'm in, I'm in eighth grade. But I am obsessed with, like, all these different things. And I just want to be, like, the best at everything I'm going to do. And it's really stressful. For me, personally, it's really stressful for me to, like, okay, I'm going to be 100% at this, 100% at this. Like, you don't have that much 100% to do, be good at everything. And you need to, like, spread, like, spread your butter equally. Like, uh, spread your butter. I talked about this in drama yesterday, but um, if you, this is your butter, and you spread your butter really thin across all of this stuff, then you're not going to be doing 100% at everything and... I think you should have like little like uh, this is what I'm struggling with right now is I want to do like 15 things and I want to be good at all of them I want to be a hundred percent at all of them but if you have 15 things and you want to be a hundred percent all of them you're not going to be because you're spreading your butter so thin and that's what I'm struggling with right now like I just want to be good at everything and it's it's just really stressful like I I'm my like, top priority right now is like making good grades and I want to like really get good grades and since next year I'm going to high school I just want to get like all A's like hundreds and everything but I mean that's probably not going to happen but anyway so I get so stressed out whenever my grades are like I have like really bad anxiety when I'm like oh my gosh I have an 89 like what like right now I have an 89 in math and I, I'm so stressed out right now and I, so I want to be good at all that and then I am in forensics I don't know if you guys know what that is I'll explain it because you guys were asking me what it is so it's like where you it's like speech pretty much speech and acting but it's mostly like speech and it's really fun if you guys ever have an opportunity to do forensics definitely recommend it because it's so fun and then I'm also doing this thing called thespians and it's like it's acting like like forensics is more like speech and talking to people like public speaking and friends or uh, thespians is like acting thespian is an actor so thespians is like acting and i want to be really good at that and i want to do 100 percent that and then my youtube is like one of my top priorities and so like i'm spreading my butter like butter butter and then i'm doing fca leadership and i don't even do sports but fca leadership but you don't have to do sports to be an fca and then I, like, so that's kind of takes a little bit of time and not that much. And the student council this year, I think it's going to take a lot more time and commitment than it did last year because just because I'm, like, eighth grade anyway. And then I do this thing called National Junior Honor Society. And it's, like, we have to, like, volunteer for time. And it's just really stressful. And I don't even know, like, <laughs> and it's so, like, I'm spreading my butter so thin. And so I need to, like, just not add anything else onto my to-do list right now. Because I'm not stressed yet, but I know I'm going to be because, yeah. So, I don't know. I just put, like, what did I write on here? Don't be per Like, you can't be perfect to everything. And I am a perfectionist. And it's something I really struggle with is I want to be 100% at everything. And I have learned that I can't do that. So, yeah. I don't know. Those are just some. Oh, we're going back up. Hold up. Yeah, so those are just some things that I'm kind of struggling with right now. And I just want you guys to know that if you ever need to talk to someone, if you ever are going through anything in your life, I mean anything. Like, if you go to my school and you want to talk to me, talk to me. If you don't go to my school and you live in Nebraska, still talk to me. Like, I would love to, like, just help people. And that's something that I feel, like, really called to do right now. 
just tell people. So if you have anything that you want to talk to me about, you can Snapchat me at Miss Anna Grace, and that's probably the way that I'll answer you guys the most. Um, but if like I haven't added you back on Snapchat because I try to add a lot of people back, but sometimes there's too many people for me to add back. If I haven't added you back, so you can't like Snapchat me. Um, you can always DM me on Instagram I, or like comment on Instagram. I sent you a DM like please answer because sometimes I don't look at all my DMs because there's so many and I like anyway. But yeah, so if you ever need to talk to me guys, like just do it. I love talking and I love helping people and I think that's something that I think would be really fun. So if you guys need anything, just contact me. Yeah, okay. Or email me. Email is a good way too. It's uh, adgprep at gmail.com. Yeah, okay, so... That was my video, that was my first Let's Talk video, and I hope you, I hope this video helped you guys. I hope it just, like, let you know that you are not the only person struggling with these things. And I just want you guys all to know that you're loved so much by me, by God, by your parents, by everyone. God loves you so much, and I just want you guys to know that, like, just stay positive, and just be positive, and be a light for everyone. Um... I really want that to just like stick out to you guys. Just be positive. Be a light for everyone. And I hope this video helped you guys. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up just so more people will see it and more people will learn. Because when you guys give thumbs up, it like shows more people the video. So, yeah. And make sure you subscribe to become one of my internet friends because I love having friends, especially internet ones. And follow all my social medias and contact me if you guys need to. I'll have my social media thing right here. They're all at Miss Anna Grace with two E's. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.